I want to welcome you to the Flathead Home Show, where we are going to talk every single week about trends in the real estate market, what's happening in real estate right here in the Flathead Valley. I'm Leah Lindsay. And I'm Justin Metcha. And Leah, why don't we talk about flipping houses? Flipping houses. That's awesome. Today, that's a great topic. Uh, thanks for joining us. Definitely thank our sponsors, Brian Murphy and Nikki Morango at Remax Rocky Mountain Real Estate in Whitefish. And also making this show possible, one of our guests today mm-hmm. here on the show, Eric Payne and New West Builders, where they can build you the most amazing custom home, but they can also remodel the home that you already have. So that's going to work really well with our flipping topic. Also, Murphy's Carpet Cleaning and Stat Restoration and Escape Now Spas. And joining us in the studio today, and and very happily to have these uh, people return, actually, Trevor Howard, Remax of Whitefish, Kenzie Stoudemire, Keller Williams Realty Northwest Montana, Clint Eckern, Man Mortgage, and of course, Eric Payne with New West, uh, New West Builders. Welcome, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. Listen, I have a question. Can you really make money flipping houses? I mean, as agents, I'm yeah. undoubtedly you've in, you've uh, entertained investors. You maybe have worked with investors in the past. Uh, how does that dialogue start in the beginning? Trevor, find me a good house. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I, I tend to go out and try to search uh, great values for houses out there. You know, a lot of times those come from off market uh, areas and mm-hmm. just uh, approaching sellers directly. But, uh, yeah, I think it all starts with the right house that has the right footprint and has the potential that you can see to improve it and uh, add value. That's the biggest piece. Kenzie, is there a standard to value in the housing market, like maybe neighborhood to neighborhood or section of town to section of town? Yeah, sure. I mean, um, it changes, you know, even from Whitefish to Columbia Falls to Kalispell, I consider those all drastically different real estate markets. So really, when you find the property, it's it's essential to really evaluate the whole picture of the neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you don't obviously want to overflip and have a three hundred thousand dollar house in a hundred fifty thousand dollar neighborhood. I mean, that's just not going to sell. So looking um, at the entire picture and really using your real estate agent as a console is. I mean, it's going to affect your bottom dollar. Yeah, I'd imagine if you're looking for a house that's probably priced under market value, depending on the corner of the valley you're looking at, and you're looking for a gain to elicit profit, um, you're looking to partner up with a real estate professional who has their hands on the market daily. And and eyes open for opportunity, as you suggested before, Trevor. Absolutely. you got to be on the uh, the front end of, of the current market and have great... Uh, great partnerships with other agents and other people in the community and to uh, find those uh, properties that do have the value, like I said before, and uh, and see what that end picture would look like and, and put together a, uh, a great product. You know, do these investors ever secure their investment with financing, with lending? I find that a lot of them are cash buyers, people mm-hmm. that have the ability to move quickly, but uh, I know there are some great lending programs that allow people to do some rehab yeah, there really are. Um, I mean, really what you're looking at is you got to find out what kind of buyer you are. I have a lot of folks that they, they want to buy a place for themselves and they're looking to flip a place um, for themselves. So mm-hmm. I guess in a sense, it's not a flip, but but still looking for that place that is undervalued they can get in and do some work for. And there are some programs out there that you can actually build a pseudo construction loan on top of regular financing um, to get work done that is needed to it. New flooring, siding, you name it. Um, and then there's also, you know, for the standard flip, um, there is uh, programs underneath fixed fixed rate outfits that you can actually get that same pseudo financing as well for the construction portion of it, Mm -hmm. um, giving you a great opportunity to get into a place and then flip it at the end of the day. I think the biggest thing, the the important part to keep in mind is who's your target market at the end of your flip Mm -hmm. and make sure, you know, I I think Kinsey, you make it up. Don't outbuild the neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Don't outbuild it. That's a, that's a bad choice there. But um, other than that, uh, commercial is a great route too. I mean, there's a lot of great commercial lines out there that you can get, um, especially if you find a place that can't get financing whatsoever on the residential side. Mm-hmm. Commercial is going to be where it's at. Um, a lot of great commercial lenders in the Valley. They can really square you away on that too. Really you know, and, and the thing is, is here we have uh, realtors and lenders with great advice, but how about the, the how about builder. the person that's doing the yeah. job? Yeah. You know, yeah. Eric, let's talk about what you see in the field. I mean, we do obviously uh, remodels, new construction, so we see it all. And in a boom market like it is, it is you have to be very savvy in, mm-hmm. in your approach. Uh, Everyone wants to take down a, a 
weight supporting wall. I know I do whenever I show houses. <laughs> take out of that wall, take out that wall. They're like, well, the house would fall. I've seen the commercial with the sledgehammer. You know, right. let's knock this yeah. thing out and give ourselves a view. It's your open concept. <laughs> All the shows on TV, it's so glamorous. It looks so much fun. And yeah. they show these prices. I've watched them at the bottom, like complete kitchen rehab, $5,000. I'm always learning, where, Where? where's that coming from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got it. We don't see anywhere near those numbers, but I think you, if you're flipping it for an investment, you just have to really keep yourself under control and not do it for you, but do it for the general public. If mm-hmm. you're, if you're going to remodel for point. yourself, you're always going to do it way more than what you need to, to sell it. And I, I find myself doing that, you know, when we're doing them. So. You're, you're probably yeah. uh, referencing product here, right? So if it's for myself, I might choose the granite countertop or the Corian or something. If it's for a rental or a flip or a something, right. you're going to probably get closer to that other, that smaller budget. Yeah. And if, I mean, if you're doing a $250,000 flip, then you really shouldn't be putting 30 grand into kitchen cabinets. Got it. Where Absolutely. if you're doing a house for yourself, you're probably going to want to do really nice cabinets. Mm-hmm. So just, you know, be savvy, look at what the market is bearing for that, you know, flip and have a margin that you want to go in up front and set a budget and just cannot surpass those budgets. Right. right. Well, and there's great products out there that uh, give the pre- the presentation and give the feel of some of those high-end products, but you can still stay within your budget. Right. Well, and I, that, that's just what I was thinking because I know that you can make, when you go in and build or remodel, y- you can make it look like there's diamonds. On, 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 I mean, everything looks just amazing. Or you can scale it back, still make it look amazing, but not have it maybe necessarily look like sparkling diamonds everywhere. Right. I mean, I think what you're seeing a lot of the TV shows now is, uh, you know, they look phenomenal, but they have a lot of resources where they're at that they can get right. product. Yeah. Here, oh, in a totally different market. Too. Yeah. And here we don't necessarily see all those resources and product lines and everything, you have to be extremely aggressive at finding things that look amazing that don't cost a fortune if you're going to, if you want to make money at it. But if you just go in and take the first option on everything and, you know, don't look at pricing and don't look for other alternatives, you're, you're not being a savvy investor. And like any investment, you need Mm -hmm. to be extremely aggressive. So uh, we got to take a quick break and we'll come back. Can can we all talk about strategies to make a flip a good investment and how we can do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, Absolutely. Absolutely. yeah, yeah. diamond sparkled walk-in closet. I'm in. <laughs> Please. We could live yes. in that. Oh. We could live in that closet. <laughs> <laughs> how would you market that, though, Trevor? How would you market that? <laughs> Marketing diamonds. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I a, like yeah. it. A little blinding. Let's Trevor keep it going. It's, <laughs> it's the Flathead Home Show, and we will be back. Ken at Escape Now Spas understands the power of escaping to a world of peace and relaxation. He's using his 22 years of pool and spa repair expertise to bring high-quality American-made spas to the Flathead Valley. Mention this ad and receive $1,000 off Platinum Series Spas, $750 off Escape Plus Series, $500 off Escape Series, and $250 off Patio Series Spas. Escape Now Spas also offers pool and spa chemicals. Visit Ken at the Montmala Whitefish for your new spa today. Are you planning on building your dream home or maybe renovating your current one? As a Flathead Creative Homes multiple time award winner, Eric Payne with New West Builders will bring your vision to life. An experienced contractor, New West Builders partners with you from design to site prep through construction and completion, exceeding your expectations every step of the way at a drastically more affordable rate than you ever thought possible. Find out more online, newwestbuilders.com. New West Builders, the luxury high-end custom home builder. Luxury as defined by design not by cost. When people have a flood or fire, they worry that the repair cost will be more than their insurance company will approve. No worries with Stat Restoration. We use the same estimating software and pricing as the insurance companies. Plus, we work directly with your adjuster so you don't have to. Take your worry out of that flood or fire. Call Stat Restoration. We are your masters of disaster. Masters of 
Welcome back, Flathead Home Show. And we are talking about flipping homes here with an amazing panel. Our show every single week is brought to you by Brian Murphy and Nikki Morango at Remax Rocky Mountain Real Estate and also by Eric Payne and New West Builders, who is in the house talking flipping with us. Mm-hmm. Also, we have Murphy's Carpet Cleaning, Stat Restoration, and Escape Now Spas. And I'm Justin Metcha. Welcome back, everybody. And again, Eric Payne, New West Builders, Clint Eckern, Man Mortgage, Kenzie Stoudemire, Keller Williams Realty, Northwest Montana, Trevor Howard, Remax of Whitefish, all joining us here. As you said, excellent panel. You know, uh, so we were talking about strategy. Perhaps, uh, you know, here, maybe we have our, maybe we're the investor. We have our eyes set on a, uh, on a property. We've been able to find it under market value. We've, we've started to strategize our flip process. Realtors, what is the room that sells the house? Which room sells the house? Oh, for me, that's kitchen. Kitchen? Uh, oh, for, I am bathtub. Bathtub. <laughs> I mean, uh, the whole bathroom, but the bathtub. The bathtub. Yeah, the, right. And the opportunity to add either bedrooms or a bathroom to the property is going to, you can take something from a two to a three bedroom, add that extra bed- bathroom there. It's going to be the easiest way to add value to the property. Let's discuss those two, those two approaches. I like your answer, Kenzie, uh, as the general seller, you know, the general market uh, sale, uh, the kitchen sells the house as Trevor is answering there is for the investor, the opportunity to add to um, equitable square footage bathroom or bedroom is uh, what the investor is looking for. Eric, can you talk a little bit about the kitchen. Let's go, we're going to pick up this house. We're going to remodel the kitchen. I imagine while that might increase market value, that might also be one of the more dangerous places to remodel. I mean, it's definitely the highest budget line item mm. on a remodel generally is going to be your kitchen. Uh, and that's where one thing where we were talking, you just have to control yourself based on what the total budget is on the resale because you can lose money or make money on the kitchen. I think one thing we always try to do with our clients when we're doing a remodel for them or if we're doing a remodel for ourselves on a flip uh, investment is we try to add luxury in the kitchen w- with features, not necessarily finishes. So okay. you can get oh, yeah, oh, double spectacular yeah. cabinets talking, talking without spending a ton of money by just changing the design, looking at what's more modern, what looking what trends are for that year, looking at finishes for countertops. They don't have to be the most expensive. They just need to be the coolest. Mm-hmm. And you yeah. just have to look and find out what that is. Good modern paint like colors. Butcher block. Mm-hmm. Yep. Right. Butcher block is so hot, it looks so good and can be done so inexpensively if you research how to get it. So features more so than finishes. Correct. Nice. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I'm all like about that. functionality. And yeah. usually yeah. the kitchen's the only thing I need to show the wife. Right. <laughs> and they're like, oh, I love it. I, I have to say that Justin, my co-host over here, mm-hmm. just at your house yesterday, yeah. and you have been flipping homes. You've got one you've done in Columbia Falls and yeah. the one that you live in. And it was it was really fun to have not been in your house for a little while. And see the progress. And see what you did this Thank weekend. You. Yes. Oh. So, I mean, I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like that. I didn't get done. a text. That, that hurt yeah. a little. The honeydew, the honeydew <laughs> list is getting shorter at my house here. <laughs> Good. And Eric, uh, yeah, I'm glad we're talking about kitchens here. The kitchen is the last room that I have yet to to work on. And for that reason, it's uh, the one that I know that I'm, I can set my budget here. And I right. imagine it's going to go up to here uh, when I start swinging a hammer. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk more about those features. Well, I think, you know, one thing it'd be countertops, obviously, uh, finishes of the cabinets. Uh, everybody likes to just do the same, you know, because that's what everybody's used to. Just standard depth uppers, standard height uppers, standard wood finishes. But really, a lot of that stuff is on its way out. You need to look at what the new trends are. Mm-hmm. Uh, completely new finish, you know, from from uh, wood grain, not necessarily wood uh, cabinet finishes are much more in style right now. Mm -hmm. Painted cabinets are really hot. Uh, Mixing up your countertops. You don't need the same counter throughout your whole kitchen. You don't need granite. Like everybody can disagree with me or some people disagree no. with me i absolutely would do anything to talk a client out of putting granite in their really? kitchen it it's is on the just way out. so you do a lot of islands we do lots of islands but we'll mix everything up from concrete to quartz that looks like concrete or quartz products mix some butcher block like we were talking into it and just you don't have to do the same thing you, you, you're used to doing like mm-hmm. go out and be adventurous and have Ooh, fun be with creative it. i like well, it. i think lighting fixtures as well i'm it's in the process lighting, of doing yeah. that right now and yeah, uh, we just replaced it all, replaced all our you our do lighting. a lot of flipping yourself don't you I, we've uh, I, my first home uh, was a highly successful one and it uh, it made me want to do more so hopefully there's gonna be many in the future but i've definitely helped a lot of investor clients uh, work 
through those sort of projects. But uh, I really like the way that lighting fixtures can uh, can really change things up. And you so can get away pretty inexpensively. From, from your experience, Trevor, were your goals different than that of your clients? Uh, my goals were just having a right. nice home to uh, to live in. And then at that point in time, we gained enough equity that it allowed us to make a move at a time where we had to get uh, a little bit more space with having a couple kiddos. So, uh, you know, coming back to the financing on it real fast, Clint, are you, do you find that you're ever in a moment or, or have a moment to counsel uh, a client on whether or not they should go with a HELOC or a, maybe a, like a yeah. construction loan or something? Or? Oh yeah, totally. Uh, it, it really depends on what you're going to do, like a, like a remodel on the house. If you got equity, in, in your house home. currently. Usually a home equity line of credit is going to be your best bet. Um, I mean, you could always do a full construction loan, but then you're looking at a two-time close again where your construction loan to the final financing. Mm-hmm. Um, and home equity loans are going to change here in a little bit, probably, you know, because they're taking the interest right off away next year for taxes, but that's a whole different story. But um, yeah, so show. I mean, yeah, yeah. for another show, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so no, home equity is a great, a great deal. Um, you know, construction loan, is, you know, you know, when people go into a flip or a remodel, I mean, you got to have money too. I mean, you got to have either equity in your house or the land that you own or the property. I mean, mm-hmm. you got to have that equity. If you don't expect to bring cash to the table and uh, talking cash, I mean, you're looking usually 20% of your whole project at least. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure on the builder side, if you got a client coming in and they got a construction lined out, that makes life a lot easier for oh, you. Oh, for sure. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it makes cash a big difference. That's for sure. Leah, yeah. do we have time for one more question? I, you know, we're, we're pushing it, but let's do, let's do one really, more. Really, really, really fast. Let's do one Trevor more. had brought up a, 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 the opportunity to add a bathroom or a bedroom real quick, Eric, you know, what are the largest hurdles in perhaps adding a bedroom to a house? Well, I mean, I think a lot of the older homes that you're going to see under too few bathrooms. So it's a, a big selling point to get really it, add a bathroom. Ones. Yeah, real tiny ones. Like, <laughs> I would say probably adding bathrooms, it, you really have to weigh it, you know, look at what the market value is going to increase by adding that bath. But if you can not get overly aggressive with size, things like that, mm-hmm. uh, and keep it fairly simple. Just adding a bath, but not making it crazy fancy. Oh, I want a shower and a tub, so that's, mm. that's well, too much. I, I was going to say, just getting a powder room on that on the main floor or something that's accessible to, to everyone. It needs to be a soaker tub. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Big oh, on the tubs here. Wow. Big you know, bathtub girl. So as, as a buyer, Leah's going to be just going through the photos looking for the tub. So remember that. Take your, your, with, at your next listing, you know, feature the tub in <laughs> one of the photos exclusively. You guys, I, I think that we could sit and, and talk about this topic. There's so many levels, and maybe we should break that down for a future show mm. where we talk specifically about just one aspect of, of flipping. But thank you for your expertise and our yeah. guests today have been Eric Payne with New West Builders, Clint Eckerd Man Mortgage, Kenzie Stoudemire, Keller Williams Realty, Northwest Montana, and Trevor Howard, Remax of Whitefish. Friends, thank you so much for your time and your expertise. Yeah, it's Cheers. been awesome. Of course, you can check out our vlog, our video blog on B podcasts.com and right there. And we want to thank our sponsors, Brian Murphy and Nikki Morango at Remax Rocky Mountain Real Estate. Also, of course, Eric Payne and New West Builders, Murphy's Carpet Cleaning, Stat Restoration, and Escape Now Spas. You know what? For a future show about bathtubs, we should bring them on board just for you. <laughs> yes, we should. <laughs> it's like my very favorite thing. Yeah. I like the dual shower head, one on each side. Do you? Mm-hmm. I do. And with the bathtub in the middle? With its with a different bathtub. Oh, totally separate. I'm like, I don't know. This is a bathtub inside the shower. This sounds awesome. Uh, it is the Flathead Home Show with Leah Lindsay and Justin Mecha, and we love having you around. Welcome home. <laughs>